and welcome, it's Michelle Newton here at the Angels Toolbox with your weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading for the week ahead, Monday, August the 25th through to Sunday, August the 31st. So this week I thought I would use the Angel Feather Oracle iPad app, which is available on all your iPhones and so forth, and that beautiful little white feather falling down, I just love it. Press readings and you can do one, three, five, or the lovely yes, no, maybe reading, which has just been added for those who like to have a definite answer. But today we're going to choose three card reading. So I'll choose three cards. The first screen just tells you to close your eyes, focus on uh, the question that you have that you want to ask the angel, and of course we're going to ask about the week ahead. And then you just click that and then the cards come up. So this is just as accurate as doing your um, Angel Feather Oracle reading with the card deck. You tune in and you just scroll across and we're going to choose three cards. So one, just intuitively uh, be guided to choose the three cards and this is for your week ahead. Okay, they're very much on about creative talents over the last few weeks, haven't they been? So the first card is the situation and it's the Crimson Angel Feather and it's innate creative talents. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed or further developed. And it doesn't surprise me that this card comes up a lot because that's really what the angels focus is for us in this lifetime is to be creative. The, uh, I'm going to do the emotional challenge next which is the blue angel feather. Accept life as it is. The angels are here to advise you that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life. Okay, this is the angel saying now, come on, hand it over. You don't have to be in control all the time. It's that trust, isn't it? And the advice is a new beginning. The angels ask that you ready yourself to commence something new and exciting. A wonderful, fresh start awaits you this week. Now, I'm going to tune in on the three cards and how they sit together and what I intuitively um, download from the angels for you this week. I'm really feeling that um, this week it is about um, the creative side uh, it's very a passionate um, energy this week as well. So that's the red, the crimson. It's very, um, it's heart. It's about passion. The blue card, the challenge is that um, it is those trust issues that, that can come up for us. It's, um, it's also, um, it's accepting what's happening at the moment. Um, it's accepting of how things are flowing at the moment too and and it's about the guidance is not to not to control so it's that take a deep breath okay and focus on your breathing and and also focus on what's coming out of your mouth as well you know what you're thinking and what's coming out of here they're telling me they're showing me both and the advice is that the, the angels are with you that there is a new beginning I really feel that this advice here is comfort this week I feel that it's it's this that's passion it's about heart related things it's about you more so than actually sewing it's it's the, it's the color here with the crimson I feel it's very heart related I feel the the challenges of this week could be about us not trusting our angels and the angels say just know that we're here that's the white feather that's the angel's comfort it's the angel's sign that they're with you so if you do see those white feathers this week know that the angels are trying to reassure you that everything will start to flow better when you trust trust in your angels and trust in your path so it's about what makes your heart sing is what they're saying to me this week what is it that makes your heart sing and what is it that you, you've, you're controlling that you need to give over to the angels and trust in? So it could be matters related to the family or a loved one or a lover that, you know, when you step back and stop trying to control everything and accept 
who they are and what they are and what they're giving you is the best that they can give you at this point in time. I think that really is the message for this week going ahead. It's trusting, it's stepping back, stepping out of that control, you know, the control issues that we all have. It's a natural thing and allowing the angels to comfort us if we need it and if you feel like um, things aren't going quite to, to your plan, tuning back in with your angels and saying, angels, you know, how can I reassess this? And show me a way that I can understand this person better or understand this situation better. So it's very much about tuning in to trust this week, trusting your angels to guide you with those heart-related um, issues, which we all have. Family are close to our heart, loved ones are close to our heart. So it's about accepting how people give to you. You can still keep giving the same way, but not in a controlling fashion. Accepting that they're doing the best they can with what they've got. And the angels will be here this week to comfort you and to give you signs of how to change the way you react in um, certain situations. So it's a beautiful reading and again some work to do this week guys um, but we can do it and one day at a time is another thing that, that's coming through for us. One day at a time. Focus, focus on the ones you love but in a way that is encouraging and a way that supports them um, to be the best that they can be. So have a beautiful week ahead. Many, many angel blessings to you and your family. And I will see you back here next week for another angel reading at the Angels Toolbox. Bye.